teaching this way through a storyline unit has changed student engagement. And I, I think that teaching through the storylines has really been impactful. Um, I get a little emotional here. But it's students are literally walking in like, OK, I own this. And a student the other day said to me, Mrs. Brinza, it's really awesome in here. Like, you just let us learn whatever we want. And in the back of the, my mind, I was like, I totally hit the jackpot with this kid because I have things that I absolutely need to teach, but he thinks that he's just doing whatever he wants. And I've laid it out a way through the help of the storylines to be like, he, he thinks he's doing this on his own with his classmates, but it's like carefully crafted into um, something really impactful. And I think that they're, they are super engaged because they think that instead of me telling them what they're going to do, they're like, OK, well, we need to do this if we're going to figure this out. And they're invested in it, too. That's really cool. Another way that Open Syed supports student learning is when students aren't expected that they always have to use specific scientific vocabulary, but that their own language and experiences are validated as contributing to the conversation and at, to, uh, to um, create an explanation of the phenomena based on their own language. That, to me, is much more powerful. And that's something that will stay with students much longer. So I think it takes the pressure off, and they also feel validated. Um, I have students that come in here, and they don't do work in other classes. But they're always like, this is my favorite class. And, and when I ask why, they're like, it's just, this is interesting. I want them to understand that as we're walking through this process together, it's not going to be easy. There's going to be moments of total, I don't know, or what do we do? Like, and I think that that's OK, because as a teacher myself, there's times where I don't know my next steps with students. Or I'm trying to figure something out, and I'm like, I have no clue. And I look towards somebody else to help me figure it out. And I want students to know that it's OK to, to reach a point where you don't know what's going to happen next. That's one of the moments that stands out the most for me from when I taught that unit the first time last year. Because in the middle of that, and we were updating our model tracker, one of my students, who, who is a special ed student on IEP and tended to struggle in traditional classes, he's like, oh, I get it. And I said, well, what do you get? And he said, I get it. Like, when it, it hit, it has to have energy to give energy. And so the hotter one gives it away to the colder one. And that was the first time I feel like a student actually got it versus memorized the concept that didn't make sense to them. Um, and so then by the third model, what I could see in students' diagrams, they used arrows to represent greater speed of the warmer molecules or the colder temperature of some of the molecules. They incorporated the interactions between the air to the side of the cup, the side of the cup to the water, the water to the air. And they had so many other levels of interactions. And now, instead of being at a macro level, talking about the sunlight is warming it up, I saw students applying their understanding at a micro level, that they could show the molecules and what was happening at the individual interactions. And as a teacher, that, and as I said, I've been teaching this topic for so many years, that was so exciting to see them get it and to see the progression, how it worked out.